Toot how. Pepper and George have come to play at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Hello, Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Hello, my little ones. Would you like to see what I've made in the garden? Yes, please. Then follow me. I wonder what Grandpa's made this time. I've made a hotel. What's a hotel? A hotel is a house where you can stay for a holiday. <coughs> Hotels are very fancy. Like a fairy castle? Yes, just like a fairy castle. When you arrive, someone takes your bags and you're given a comfy room to stay in. That's what a hotel is. Mmm, I like hotels. Uh, my hotel isn't exactly like that. I'm sure it's still very nice. Here it is, my bug hotel. Ah. Oh, my word. Good, isn't it? It isn't quite what I was expecting when you said hotel. How can we stay in that? It's not for us. This hotel is for little bugs. Oh. It is made out of sticks, old logs, bricks and leaves. All the things that bugs like. Here comes a little beetle. Look, our first guest. Welcome to our hotel. Um, which of our rooms do you fancy? It's going into the tube thing. Yes, the beetle <laughs> likes this bamboo tube the best. It's just the right size for it. It looks really cosy. <laughs> yes, and I want lots more bugs to stay at the hotel because they are very good for the garden. Look, a ladybird. Ah, yes. Here comes our next guest. <laughs> the whole family have come to stay. The baby ladybirds are so sweet. Hello, everyone. For you, I'd recommend our family rooms. The family rooms are a piece of wood with lots of holes. <laughs> Ooh, look, a butterfly. Welcome, Miss Butterfly. I see you've discovered our roof terrace. <laughs> Ugh, these are a bit too creepy crawly for me. No, Granny. These are wood lice. They do lots of good work. They prefer a room that is nice and dark. May I recommend this room for you? Night, night, wood lice. <laughs> well done, Grandpa. Your hotel is almost full. There's always room for more guests. The more, the merrier. Look, a bee. It's a bumblebee. In you go. Oh, no. It can't fit in. None of the hotel rooms are big enough for the bumblebee. We'll just have to make a new room. Pepper and George, would you like to help? Yes, please. <laughs> First, we need to find something big enough. What about this flower pot? <laughs> That's perfect. We'll just turn it upside down. Would the bee like a comfy bed inside? Yes, I'm sure the bee would like that. <laughs> George has found some dry grass. Perfect. That will make a very comfy bed. The flower pot room is just right for the bumblebee. She's am very happy. She's going buzz, buzz. I'm a bumblebee. I like to buzz around. Buzz. George is a beetle crawling on the ground. We are little bugs. We play all day. We like the bug hotel and we want to stay. Hmm. You're very large bugs, aren't you? I don't think we have any rooms big enough. Oh. But the bug hotel never turns guests away. We just make more rooms. Here you are. The grandest room of all for our most important <laughs> guests. I'm all lovely and snug. <laughs> I think it's the best fancy hotel in all the world. Yes, it is rather good. <laughs> Pepper and George love the Bug Hotel. All the little bugs love the Bug Hotel. Today, Pepper and her family have come to the opticians. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Daddy Pig needs some new glasses. Daddy Pig? Coming! Oof. Uh, oops. <laughs> this way, Daddy. Dr Pony is an optician, which means he looks after people's <laughs> eyes. So, Daddy Pig, what happened to your old glasses? Ah, well, 
there was a bit of a mishap in the kitchen with the soap and a ball. And a blender. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> we'll just do a few tests to check your eyes are healthy, and then we can see about getting you some new glasses. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, pop your chin just here and keep your eyes wide open, please. Like this. <laughs> like this. <laughs> now you'll just feel a little puff of air, okay? Three, two, one. Oh. Three, two, one. Oh. Done. Now just blink lots for me. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> when did you have onions, George? Now we'll take a picture of your eye. Pop your head here, please. Okie dokie. We can take pictures of our eyes too, George. Hold nice and still. I can see you. <laughs> and all done. Your eyes look very healthy, Daddy Pig. So now we'll see how good your eyesight is. <laughs> it's not so bad. Oh. <laughs> okay now, focus on this picture of a hot air balloon and tell me if it's better or worse. Dr. Pony is checking how well Daddy Pig can see by using a picture. Um, better? And now, better or worse? Uh, no, worse. Uh... Well, you still need glasses, Daddy Pig. But the good news is we have lots of options for you to pick from. Ooh. I see. What about these? We also have these if you'd like. They're just like your old ones. Oh, sold. I'll take them. Aww. Would you like an extra pair in case you have any other accidents in the kitchen with the blender? Hmm. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves his old glasses. Thank you, Dr. Pony. But Peppa and George love his new spare glasses. Flying on holiday. Peppa and George are going on holiday. They are packing their bags. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy. And George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow! That's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. <laughs> It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> oh, Granny and Grandpa. Why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. <coughs> it is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. <coughs> Whoa! <coughs> That's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye! This is the airport. Goodbye! Have a lovely holiday! Tickets, please! Here they are. Any bags? Yes, I'm afraid... This one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. Is the x-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh. 
Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy your flight with us today. Can I sit next to the window? <laughs> of course, Pepper. <laughs> yes, George, you can sit next to a window too. <laughs> this is Captain Emergency speaking. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Captain, Captain Emergency. Emergency! Then let's go! Teddy, they're flying. What can you see out of the window, Peppa? It's all cloudy and rainy. Ooh, now it's sunny. That's because we're on top of the clouds. The plane is flying higher and higher. Oh, are we flying up to the sun? No, but we are going somewhere sunny. We hope you have enjoyed your flight. Please fasten your seatbelts. This is Captain Emergency speaking. We are about to land in Italy. Oh, Italy. That sounds nice. The aeroplane has landed. Hooray! <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy on the aeroplane. Now we need a car to drive to our holiday house. Hello. Buongiorno. Come posso aiutare una così bella signora? In Italy, people speak Italian. Oh, um, we need a car. Non capisco. Let me handle this. I'm an expert at talking. <clears throat> we need a car. Uovo. Not eggs. A car. Um, no. Not flowers. No. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> ah, auto! Hey, hey! Brum, brum, beep, beep! Well done, George. <laughs> this bag is heavy. Oh. Are you sure we need everything in here, Mummy Pig? Yes. It's all very important. Are we going to get lost like we always do? <laughs> no, Peppa. The sat-nav will tell us the way. Benvenuto all'auto del futuro. In Italy, the sat-nav talks in Italian. Proseguire sulla... Maybe we don't need the sat-nav. Uh, let's go this way. Remember, Daddy Pig, this is another country. They may drive differently here. Oh! Teddy! I left Teddy on the aeroplane! Eh? What? We have to go back. Uh... Oh dear, it is a policeman. Hello, officer. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I promise I won't do it again. Good day. I am returning this young bear. He was left on the aeroplane. Oh, thank you. Teddy! Have a lovely holiday. Here we are. Pepper and her family have arrived at their holiday house. What have you got in this bag, Mummy Pig? It's all important stuff for our holiday. A lovely plant, our computer, tin food, hot water bottles, some winter clothes in case it gets a bit chilly, the telephone. Let's ring Granny and Grandpa. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Are you sure we're feeding Goldie enough? I'll just feed her a pinch more. Hello? Hello, Granny. Can I speak to Goldie, please? It's Pepper for you. I miss you too, Goldie. <laughs> <sighs> it has been a long day. Now it is time for bed. Good night, my little piggies. Pepper and George are fast asleep in their holiday house. Peppa Pig. <laughs>